Smells like you've had a little bit to drink. I can smell some alcohol in your breath. Have you ever been arrested for DWI before? Have you ever been arrested for anything before? Okay. Well, unfortunately, you're under arrest for DWI. I need you to turn around and place your hands behind your back. All right, guys, yeah. tell us what you got. We got a 16-year-old male uh, motor vehicle accident. Uh, upon arrival, he was unconscious, unresponsive. He has started to maintain consciousness a little bit more. He's come to. He has no purposeful movement at any extremity. And we'll move the board on your count. I count. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three, move. Okay. You have a name? Uh, Aiden, was the first Aiden can you open your eyes? Okay. Does anything hurt right now, Aiden? You can't feel anything? Okay. Okay, Aiden, you probably have a broken neck. Okay? I'm going to go get your parents, and we're going to get you up to the operating room, okay? I'm going to take good care of you. All right? Hi, you're Aiden's parents? I'm Dr. Olson. Hi. Uh, I assume by now you know that your son was in a bad car crash. Um, he most likely has a broken neck. He's paralyzed. Uh, he can't move any of his extremities at all. We're going to bring you in and then we're going to get him up to the operating room. His long-term prognosis is very bleak. Um, he may end up being paralyzed for the rest of his life. So that's something just to prepare you for, okay? Aiden, they have your parents. You're okay, buddy? Yeah. Can't do anything. You're okay. You'll be okay. We'll take care of you. I promise. We love you. You know that, right? <laughs> You're gonna be okay. We love you. We love you. The yellow steps, go right through that door into that first room. This is processing room number one. Okay, have a seat on the bench. Okay, sorry, I'm going to ask you some questions because you're we have to put you into that room. These are just standard questions that we have to ask you by, by the state of New York, okay. Can you uh, spell your first name for me, please? S-A-A-R-A. -A -A. Your last name? V. This uh, wide part of the plastic tube in your mouth, make a tight seal. Slowly exhale all the air from your lungs just like you're blowing up a balloon. You just stand right there. You're going to need your right hand first. Stay relaxed. I 
Looking at the four chamber view of the heart, there's no wall motion activity. Heart's not moving. And his belly's full of blood and he's in V fib. Uh, so, unless somebody has some other questions, I'll just give you a little bit death is 1635. Thanks everybody. You're Chris's parents? Hi, yes Hi. we are. I'm Dr. Olson. You know your son was involved in a bad car crash. We do. Okay. He had multiple internal injuries and a, probably a very severe head injury. I'm afraid to tell you he died. Um, most of his injuries were most likely uh, life-threatening or died pretty much at the scene. So he wasn't in a lot of pain? I don't think so. No, he wasn't. Um, we'll bring you in so you can take a look. and see if he had it thank you. Um, and certainly if they have it we'll get it to you okay thank you Thank you, officer, for the case of the People versus Sara Vitola, defendants present with their attorney, Mr. Brennick. Also present, senior ADA Christopher Bednarski, representing the people of the state of New York. Ms. Vitola, I'm going to read what you're charged with. This is not uh, where you're going to be uh, sentenced or anything like that. This is purely initial arraignment, okay? You're charged with some vehicle and traffic law. Um, Charges failed to keep right, failed to use designated lane, driving while intoxicated, which is an unclassified misdemeanor, and DWI with 0.08 of 1% or more alcohol in your blood, which is also a misdemeanor. It's alleged that your blood alcohol content uh, tested today was 0.09%. You're also charged with some penal law violations and these are quite serious violations. These are felony charges. You're charged with two counts of penal law, section 125.14, which is aggravated vehicular homicide. These are B felonies. These are as a result of uh, your actions and the deaths of Christopher Perry <laughs> and also Sarah Speck. You're also charged with one count of penal law section 12003, which is vehicular assault in the second degree, which is also a felony, it's E felony, for the serious injury suffered by Aiden Welling as a result of this incident. Do you understand what you're charged with, Ms. Vitola? Yes, ma'am. And how then do you wish to proceed? Judge, we enter a plea of not guilty at this point. Ms. Vitola, it's my understanding that you are after looking at the paperwork, you are also a citizen of Canada? Yes, ma'am. And you have plans to go to college soon yes. after graduation? That was your plan? And to leave this country to go to Canada for college? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, those plans are now on hold, all right? You're not to leave this area, specifically the state or the country. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. 
I am setting a bail in the amount of 500,000 cash or bond. Uh, preliminary hearing date will be set for April 24th at 9.30 a.m. Your driving privileges are also uh, suspended pending this matter, pending prosecution. Do you understand? Yes. Sarah Rebecca Speck, May 25th, 2001. Sarah is a twin. Curiosity, fearless, um, loves to learn about everything. Social butterfly, beautiful. Um, just loves animals, just curious about everything, but mostly fearless, always ready to try something new. Well, anything she has done, she just dives into it and is probably harder on herself than anybody else's. Sarah wants to go into the Army following in her grandfather's footsteps and my brother's footsteps and she wants to be an officer and um, in the military. Sarah is hmm, a lot of what I wish I could be in a lot of ways. She is probably much stronger than I am. She is more focused and determined. I look up to her in a lot of ways. She can be so challenging sometimes because she is such a perfectionist and but she I am just extremely proud of her because I, I don't know anyone else who is as focused and as just sheer determination to accomplish everything she wants to do. She's a good person too. She's a very good person. Okay, today is June 15th, 2018. We're on the record for the case of the people of the state of New York versus Sara Vitola. We're here for sentencing. It's my understanding, Ms. Vitola, uh, that today is actually graduation day for Fayetteville Manlius High School and you are present with me in court as opposed to graduating with your class. Ms. Vitola, you entered a plea of guilty knowingly and voluntarily and you admitted your guilt to this court from the events that took place back on April 19th of this year. I'm ready to pronounce sentence. Do you or your attorney have anything you wish to say before I sentence you? I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm really sorry. Thank you. Mr. Brennick? Uh, as the court mentioned, Ms. Vitola entered a plea voluntarily, uh, and as you know, that is her first step in taking responsibility for her conduct in this case. Um, she was cooperative with the police at the scene, she provided a statement, and she entered a plea uh, to further that acceptance. I would ask the court to consider a sentence that allows her to continue in that path and receive treatment uh, and, and be able to improve her situation and give back after she's caused this hor horrific tragedy. Mr. Bednarski, would you like to be heard? The defendant has admitted uh, that while in an intoxicated condition, she crossed over the center line and slammed head-on into another car. She admits to texting while driving. She admits to drinking three or four beers while she drove. Um, and as a result of her actions, 16-year-old um, Sarah Speck is dead. 18-year-old Christopher Perry, he would have been graduating today and 16-year-old Aiden Welling, severely injured. He will recover, but he will never forget, and he will deal with his injuries for the rest of his life. The people recommend this court a sentence of eight and a third to 25 years. Ms. Vitola, before I impose sentence, I think it's critical that you understand the severity of what happened and that you realize that nothing can bring back the lives of Christopher Perry and Sarah Speck. This preventable, horrific catastrophe is something you are completely and solely responsible completely for. And solely responsible for. You made a careless, foolish, and thoughtless careless, decision. Careless, foolish, and thoughtless decision. Two people died. Two people died. 
You've left behind a legacy of pain, pain and heartache and that heartache. is rippling through this community. You did this. You caused this damage. You did this. You caused this damage. This is your new this reality. Is your new reality. I'm sure you didn't wake up on the morning of April 19th with the intent to injure or kill someone, but that's exactly what you did. Your careless and thoughtless actions resulted in the loss of two young people, tremendous hurt and loss suffered by their families and friends. No one, Ms. Fatola, including you, can say that in this day and age that they do not know the dangers of alcohol, taking drugs, and getting behind the wheel of a vehicle. You have inflicted unspeakable, permanent harm on innocent people. You will forever have to live with this reality. The shame and guilt will eat at you when you close your eyes at night. This entire community is reeling as a result of this incident. It's absolutely necessary that a message of deterrence be sent to you and to this community that this senseless carnage on the roadways must end. If you felt alone, scared, and hopeless when you were booked into the jail after arraignment, I can assure you that you're gonna feel those feelings once again in state prison. With regard to count one, and the death of Mr. Christopher Perry. You are sentenced to the maximum term of eight and a third to 25 years in state prison. With regard to count two and the death of Miss Sarah Speck, you are sentenced again to eight and a third to 25 years in state prison. With regard to count three and the injury suffered by Mr. Aiden Welling, you are sentenced to the maximum term of four years in state prison. And with regard to the driving while intoxicated, you are sentenced to one year incarceration. Every 15 minutes, someone in our country dies as a result of an alcohol-related vehicle accident. The students who are being removed from your classroom today will represent one of the 96 people who will be involved in an alcohol-related accident during the next 24 hours and will die as a result of that accident. When someone dies, our opportunity to communicate with that individual is gone forever. As a representative for those who will die in an alcohol-related incident, your fellow classmates are going to return as a member of our walking dead. They will not be permitted to communicate with any friends, family, or faculty for the next 24 hours. We ask that you please respect their role one that represents an actual person who will die in the next 24 hours, and that you do not attempt to communicate with those individuals. Thank you for your cooperation. Every 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes. Thank you. 